hey guys it's lily alicia welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a christmas set okay it is christmas time it's winter so it's time for these sets to come out i'm gonna be doing a few sets for you guys so let's go ahead and get into it i've already applied the tips onto the artificial tips which i have pushed into the practice hand and this practice hand again you guys can get this from amazon i will put the link in the box below now i am taking my sanding band and i am just removing the shine off of all of the nails and i didn't even bother to reshape them because they are pretty much the shape that i want them to be so that is what the nails are looking like and now it's time for the application so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe away all the dust with alcohol and just a regular napkin and I am going to go ahead and apply one coat of primer to all of the nails. This primer I did purchase from my local nail supply store. And this is the monomer that I will be using today. It is from Too Cute Nail Supply. And this is the acrylic powder. It is in the color Bubble Yum. I will put the link to these products in the description box down below and there is a code that you guys can use for money off. So with this said, I'm going to be doing something simple yet pretty. As you guys saw by the thumbnail, I'm going to be doing some glitter, um, a candy cane design, a bow. So just applying the acrylic as seamlessly as possible, making sure that I don't have to file down a lot of the acrylic or debulk um, because that can take some time. So I'm just trying to make sure that this application is so nice and smooth. Um, and I feel like I am getting better with the application. That is what I really, really struggle with. But I'm trying to get better with my acrylic application. So I'm gonna be doing two nails with glitter and snowflakes. The middle finger and the pinky finger is gonna be glitter. So this is the middle finger that I'm doing. Now with this glitter, I thought that this glitter was more, more iridescent than silver, um, but I was wrong. So there's a lot of silver chunky glitters in there, which I did not really like. I was more going for like a white iridescent and pink set, but it's okay. It still came out pretty. I had to deal with it. So, yeah so i'm just applying the glitter to again the middle and the pinky finger and i'm also i'm gonna cap all of the nails obviously you have to encapsulate the nails so that when you go to file um you don't file away any of the glitter now when i did encapsulate the nails those snowflake glitters they weren't really laying flat they were kind of like sticking out and you guys will see what i'm talking about when i am um, applying them on this pinky finger um i'll zoom in for you guys to see but they're not really laying flat onto the nail they're kind of like sticking out so when i go to encapsulate there were some that were sticking up i had to reposition everything as you guys can see what i'm doing here um and then when i go to file i did end up filing off some of them like the edges of the snowflake but majority of the snowflake was still there so you guys couldn't really tell if you guys are like um <laughs> A really advanced nail tech then you guys can see or you guys would tell but I mean the set still came out really really cute so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish apply everything and then I will come back to you all once it is time for the design
Okay, y'all, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Look at it sticking out through the, um, from the side. Like, look at it. That's what I'm talking about by them not laying flat. So I have to add extra acrylic to cap or I have to file them away. And you guys will see once I top coat it that some of them, the edges are not there because they were filed off. And this is what the nails are looking like once I have finished the application. And this is what the nails are looking like after I have filed and buffed and dusted all of the nails off. They look pretty nice to me, nice and straight. No lumps, no bumps, and nothing. This is the gel color that I will be using. It is from Pine. I love using Pine and that is the color. It's just a basic white. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go ahead and use that um, for like my liner gel. And this is the nail art brush that I will be using. I got that nail art brush from Sheen. Um, the link, I can put that in the description box as well. So I struggled and when I tell you struggled, you guys will see how many times I attempted to do this gift wrap bowl. Like look, look, look at it. <laughs> look, it's not even even. It's not even even. The lines are not the problem. It's me actually doing the bowl. So I had to wipe it off, do it again, wipe it off again. This is real time, you guys look how slow i'm going i'm literally trying to get everything nice and straight and clean you guys will see it took me maybe three or four times to to get this right i swear i am not a nail art person you guys but i have to i have to practice i have to learn i have to do it because nail art is where it's at i'm so used to sticking stones on and you know making them look nice and shiny and beautiful but i need to get into nail art but i'm practicing i'm learning and i will only get better i cannot get worse at this okay y'all y'all just keep watching y'all will see but this real time one is not even the successful one i had to remove this one and i'm going so slow as if yeah i'm doing it like i'm gonna get it right but no this is where i messed up at i i was doing so well up until this point you guys look look it's not even the same size as the one on my right it's not even the same size and you know i tried to fix the right side but i only made it worse so i had to erase it not erase it i had to wipe it off and do it again look what am i doing this is the part where i was like you know what forget it <laughs> but this this one here this is the one that was successful you guys will see success success they are even they are even oh my gosh you see what happens when you just keep going and you don't give up the third time is the charm just keep going don't give up don't stress yourself out and you will get it i got it i got it so i was actually going to leave this one plain but i decided to add some glitter so that's what I did. I did not cure it. You just go ahead and add the glitter on top. You remove the excess, tap it, and then um, I went ahead and cured it. 
<clears throat> and so for the pointer finger, I went ahead and applied the top coat first because that's where I messed up on the ring on the ring finger. I did not apply the top coat first, and you guys will see um, towards the end of the video. I went ahead and took a nail art brush and um, went in with top coat on the parts that needed to be top coated. Um, so, but yeah, for this one, I did the top coat first. And so here I'm just doing some basic lines. I didn't really want them to be straight. I wanted them to kind of curve a little bit. Um, but yeah, this one was a lot easier than doing the bow cause it's just really like kind of straight curvy lines in a way. Um, I was going to actually leave them like that, but I decided to add some little lines in between. Um, I added some glitter and then boom. That was it for this pointer finger. Didn't really do anything too much to this pointer finger. Um, I didn't want to do too much to the nails. I was really just freestyling it. I just thought about it as I as I was doing the nails. I said, hmm, what am I going to do with this set? So I just freestyled <laughs> and they came out cute. So I am top coating these nails of course and this is what I meant um, earlier where I had to go in with my nail art brush and um, top coat the areas that needed to be top coat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but it was no big deal. I'm so used to doing that when I um, am applying crystals onto the nails um, and I don't top coat first. So I just had to go in between and top coat and that was it for this set, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this set. I think it came out really, really cute. Okay, stay tuned for more Christmas and winter sets. I have a few more coming. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn your post notification bells on. Until next time, you guys. Oh, and make sure that you guys use that code for too cute love you guys bye